Hello there, my friends. So everybody's playing Starfield this week, last couple weeks, and uh, I'm playing Fallout New Vegas. So why is that? What in the goddamn? Exactly. Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves like smooth little babies. So I'm going to a uh, convention this week. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare, or are you just thick skulled. Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as oh, more private. Oh, Betty's got a heart. Any questions you got? I'll answer. I knew it. So uh, I'm uh, playing this game because I've got Benny's jacket. I found it at a thrift store this week. So I'm going to be at this con. I'm going to be on a panel. And uh, actually, yeah, it's my panel. And so uh, I'm going to be dressing up as uh, Benny because it's uh, Pittsburgh Gaming Expo. It's a retro gaming thing. So uh... to start, I'll copy yeah. the presidential. Best well, sweet house. This. You deserve a taste so of I'm the VIP be lifestyle. Quiet now and play this I'll hang out down here well, for a actually, while to make everything look business as usual. Then come to you. Any questions you got? I'll answer, guaranteed. So I'm trying to learn his uh, answer. So if you have a good speech, which right before I got this, I walk in the door and I level up because uh, I discover a new location or I complete a quest by walking in the lobby. And so I upped my speech, which was 48 to over 60, which is great because this way you can go up if to the If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. And then once you go to the room, you can uh, talk to Benny some more. And I want to get some more Benny isms. Like, smooth, baby. Smooth like baby. Like you to be. Sweets. And Benny goes to the bar. And here's the thing, though. Get behind the bar before he does. Because otherwise you're talking to his back. So that's no fun. You get behind the bar. He sits down in his chair right here, usually. But after he walks into the wall for some reason. Ah! That was pretty cute. Have a seat, baby. Let's get this kicking. Now you have a seat. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask. How is it that you're still living? See, I never heard him say that. Let's see, baby, let's get this kicking. Huh. House was on to me from word go? I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? I'm persistent, that's all. Yeah, that's one word for it. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind going to blow? You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? With enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? Sounds good, but... The lighting in here is terrible. I can't turn on my pit boy. Hmm. You got questions? I got answers. That sounds like a line from a an ad. What ad agency was that? What what advertisement commercial was that? If you know, put it in the comments. You got questions? We got answers. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer, I've found. Must require special hardware. It has something to do with the Securitrons, I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. How else can I clue you in? Here, before I do that, I want to see if he'll hand it over. Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me. Not you. You'll get a piece of the action and a sweet one. But the chip sticks with me. Like I said, 
Once the chairman are running Vegas, you'll get a percentage. Until then, I'll pay you a retainer and bonuses for special missions. Something else you wanted to know? Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you straight. A good cat to swing with, or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. We're the definition of cool, baby. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir faire to run the strip on our own. A tribe of finks. Every single one of them is a degenerate. Mark my words, they're playing an angle. How do I know? They always are. Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite, if I may this, my pleasure that. Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too, and smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House and a lot afraid of Caesar. If the NCR beats the Legion at Hoover Dam, they'll turn on us and claim the Strip. And we don't have the muscle to beat them. Not yet. Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole towns. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're going to try to take the dam again real soon. And if they do, Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. A nation of... Something else you wanted to know? Broad strokes? Change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's, it's coming together. Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you was rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. It's a game, and games have winners and losers. I prefer the former. How about you? Something else you wanted to know? Like I said, once the chairman are running Vegas, you'll get a percentage. Until then, I'll pay you a retainer and bonuses for special missions. Jackpot, baby. I knew we'd see eye to eye. Here's a start on your retainer. Don't spend it all in one place, and the prez is yours for as long as you want it. When you're ready to saddle up, come find me down on the casino floor, and we'll plan the next step of this caper. Ring-a-ding, baby. Ta-ta. <laughs> Do you hear that chair squeak? <laughs> Ah, it's 
squeaked when I got out too. That is cool. Hey! Uh -oh. Yeah, tell me. Might as well be throwing rocks. Had enough! Come on! I like the way Veronica's like, eh. <laughs> Oh, I almost died. I'm like, with this, look at this. One hit point. <laughs> All right. Let's go eat something. for a half hour too. Sleep in my bed. There you go. Full strength. How about that? And I throw always the sarsaparillas. Alright. Usually the first bodyguard you search will have Benny's key. See? Let's do this one. See? Always Benny's key. This one, Benny's key, and this one, Benny's key. They want you to have Benny's key, I guess. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to be going now because I got to uh, interact with Benny, and I hope you guys smash like, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, and I will have Starfield videos up as well because it's it's really fun. But this is my favorite game. Take care. Mister, I hope you're doing fine today. I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. Oh, I don't sell things, mister. I sell thoughts. I can take off my medicine and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Really think, I mean. That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. I need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's kind of empty. Great. What do you want me to think about? I can think about you, here, or everywhere. What do you want? Okay. Let me take off my medicine. Your face does the thinking. Two to the skull, yet one gets up. Odds are against you, but they're just numbers after the two to one. You're playing the hand you've been dealt.
but you don't let it rest. You shuffle and stack. And a gamble. A gamble that may pay off, but how? Forecast? Rapidly changing conditions. A lot of thinking. Most of it in your face. It's almost shouting at me. Sorry if I said anything weird. Sure, I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? Let me take off my medicine. Bull and bear over the dam, at each other's throats. But a light from Vegas? Ball spinning on the wheel. More than two at the table. Placing bets. All lose in different ways. A dam of corpses. Towns of corpses. Scattered across the sand. But whose? In what shares? Even the dealer doesn't know. Forecast, a rain of blood will flood the desert and not purify it. Blah. Thinking about everywhere always makes me feel a little sick. Sure, I could do some more thinking. What should I do my thinking about this time? I need to take off my medicine. Local, local. The here and now. Little of interest. Things to buy. False hopes and regrets watered down, washed down in dirty glasses. With regret comes a girl, smiling sad, brown robe, name Veronica. Half here, wraps her and her heart up like a pack. In the pack, a key, some say. Forecast, cloudy with a chance of friendship. Ouch, thinking small only hurts a little, but it's a sharp pain. Sorry, sir. All that thinking has made my head hurt. I don't think I'll be doing any thinking for a long time. I thought I'd be seeing you again. Thinking hurts you too? Huh? I wish I could let you have the one on my head, but I can't. It hurts real bad when I don't wear it. Oh. I don't know anything, mister. I just think it. And then, I don't. See you. Welcome to a Fallout New Vegas video. This is about factions. And if you're just starting the game, uh, you might want to know a little bit about factions. If you've already played the game, you probably know this stuff. But... Anyway, I had a viewer named the Ant Ill, or I, that's the way I pronounce it, T-H-E-A-N-T-I-L number seven. Uh, anyway, as you can see here, we're looking at, and he said, uh, you know, I'm just starting this game. How about give me a video about the factions, because I don't want to make the wrong choices. Well, this game is all about choices, and that's one of the reasons I love it. And you can replay it over and over and over again, which is pretty obvious. So I don't want to give you any spoilers, but I'm going to give you some uh, ideas. Um, things that I realized later that are really helpful now that I do subsequent walkthroughs, right? So, for instance, um, number one, Good Springs, right? So let's pull up the map here. You start in Good Springs. We should probably just go there. Devil's Gullet. Good Springs. I'm like there. All right, so... Good Springs is a faction. Uh, I didn't realize that at first. I mean, I knew that I was helping the town of Good Springs uh, at first. But, um, yeah, when you walk in here and you talk to Trudy, if she still survived the fight, I guess she's probably asleep now. Uh, but you, you walk in here and talk to Trudy, uh, she tells you, uh, you know, that there's, you, you actually see an argument between her and the powder gangers. So you have to decide immediately, like, what are you going to do? Are you going to help the town of Good Springs? Talk to Sonny? You know, you know I'm well liked here, so like I can come and go as I please. And um, yeah, it's it's definitely a faction. It's not one of the big factions that's going to like affect the entire game, but at the end of the game, if this is your first playthrough, what will happen is you will get a bunch of... Uh, prompts. Uh, I'm sorry, you'll get a story, basically a summary of the things that you did and how they, the, your actions affected the uh, entire Mojave region. And it'll say, Good Springs is a thriving town, or Good Springs is now under 
Legion Control, or Good Springs is, was overrun by Powder Gangers, or whatever it happens to be. So that brings me to point number two uh, of the five things you need to know that they don't tell you right off the bat, and that is that Powder Gangers are a faction. So when you end up uh, playing around with the Powder Gangers, at the beginning, see here, I'm vilified at this camp here, so let's go and see if they'll shoot me. Um, Powder Gangers, they don't like me because I helped uh, good sports. And um, as you can see, they're angry at me. So you get to choose whether or not you uh, have a good reputation with these guys or if they just keep throwing dynamite at you every time you see them, right? So here's the thing with Good Springs and the fight with the Powder Gangers. If you wanted to, you could just leave Good Springs, go over to the, uh, the prison uh, where the Powder Gangers are, and uh, you could do a whole bunch of quests for the Powder Gangers first. If you just want to like max out your experience, uh, you could do that, and then you could come back later and help Good Springs with fight if you wanted to, or you could help the, the Powder Gangers right off the bat and just let them take over Good Springs. Um, Chet will still be there to like uh, trade with you, but like I don't want to ruin too much for you. But um, the Powder Gangers have a bunch of quests, and I never knew that until probably my seventh or eighth playthrough that these guys actually. Um, have their whole their own little quest line, and you can uh, you can do those quests. All right, uh, number three, uh, the big guys are right Caesar's Legion and the NCR, right? So that's the big fight. Right? So these guys, you can talk to Caesar's Legion uh, as long as you didn't like just. Um, this is your last. Very well. <laughs> this is, um, you know, you can get to a point basically uh, in the uh, factions, right, where like the Caesar's Legion will um, tolerate you, and so will the NCR. But they don't like the fact that you're working for one or the other. They're diametrically opposed. So what you could do is just kind of ignore the NCR and the Legion as long as possible and do a bunch of other quests before you actually have to make a decision between the two. Because at some point, there's a tip, a tipping point, where there's a point of no return. If you do a certain quest for Caesar's Legion, it's going to alienate the NCR forever. And if you do a certain quest for Caesar, uh, NCR, it's going to alienate the Legion. So the, the game gives you several warnings of that before it happens. So... You know, you have an opportunity to turn back, basically. All right, so that's the big fight. So um, let's, what are the differences, right? So here's the NCR, right? New California Republic. They're basically styling themselves, this is number four, by the way, number four thing you need to know. The NCR is styling themselves after the United States. Um, they've got, you know, what they call president. Uh, they're trying to do a form of representative government. And um, basically, uh, pay your taxes and we'll defend you, is basically like the, uh, the credo. So that's the joke that goes around the internet, the meme, pay your taxes, right? So uh, NCR is the epitome of, you know, you pay your taxes and you get protection as much as possible. I mean, they're realistic, right? They're fighting a war with Caesar and he has certain areas and... Uh, the lead in, and uh, the NCR has another. So, and number five, uh, we we could talk a little bit more about. Um, let's go back to that camp. The fort. So, Caesar's Legion is number five. So, what you need to know about Caesar's Legion is these guys are really like jerks. <laughs> You're made to. Um, to kind of um, understand that, like at the very beginning, these guys are crucifying people, right? Um, you, when you meet, uh, when you go to Nelson, um, there's a whole bunch of terrible things going on there. Uh, and you're, and, and, and it's true, like they're not just painted in a bad light. They really are uh, really bad, evil 
people, right? But, uh, you know, they don't like women. Uh, they uh, have slaves. Uh, they um, are all about brute force. But they have a whole long quest line, which is very interesting. Now, I personally wouldn't do it on the first playthrough, and most people don't. I think most people do the NCR playthrough. But um, it's definitely worth looking at, and if you want to do an evil playthrough, you can uh, do a, a, a totally evil playthrough, but you're going to alienate a lot of the other smaller factions which exist. And it would take a much longer video to talk about all the factions. And I don't want to put spoilers in here for you. Too many, because you're a beginner. But what I do think is, you know, it's worth kind of like getting into the idea of the moral ambiguity between, you know, what Caesar's trying to do and how he does it and what the NCR is trying to do and how they do it as well. So there's nobody that's really squeaky clean. But I guess if you're going to do a good, pl if you had to do it in terms of like Dungeons and Dragons, which I, if you see my channel, I do a lot of Dungeons and Dragons videos. I would say that of the four factions we talked about, like Good Springs is like neutral good, right? Like they don't want to mess with anybody, but they're pretty, they're basically just good people. The Powder Gangers are basically like um, neutral to chaotic evil. Like they, they're just, they're bad people like they'll take what you have uh because you know they're abusing you they've been abused and now they're escaped you know convicts and uh they don't have any love for the ncr or anybody else and, and they'll just take what they can so they're really like evil but they're less they're a lesser evil i think than Le than caesar's legion which is highly organized they're more like caesar's legion is more like a lawful evil right so they're more like they have their own system of codes that they want to, to institute and put in place, but um, it's not everybody's going to benefit under that. In fact, the fewest people are probably going to benefit under that, just the people that are at the top. And NCR, I would say, is lawful good, right? Because they follow, their soldiers follow orders. They don't go in and loot the towns. When you finally get to Vegas, you'll see that they go to Vegas and they pay for what they, you know, what they uh, imbibe and and when they gamble and that sort of stuff uh, so you know they're basically law-abiding citizens so I hope that gives you a kind of a breakdown uh, if this were helpful at all let me know and if it weren't let me know that too because I can always do another video a uh, shorter video hopefully this went like way longer than I thought it was going to um, but anyway if it helped you let me know and smash and like helps me of course Subscriptions are always welcome if you want to see more. And yeah, I've played this game a lot. So don't be surprised if I know something that you need to know. Because, like I said, this is a great game. And I've played it over and over and over again. So good luck out there. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, by the way, traveling the Mojave makes you almost wish for a nuclear winter. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past this Southgate greeter without talking to it first. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. You're telling me, not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh, but no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, 
Escort just sounds better than man whore. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the Tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living, and I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again, and after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. All right. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Why?
Evening. Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. How can I help you? Have a look. Name's Michelle. My dad and me run this store. His name's Samuel. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Prim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. There's more to the 188 than meets the eye. Troops move back and forth on 93 all the time, and 95 is how NCR folks come and go from Vegas. No shortage of customers, so long as Legion raids south of here don't get worse anyways. Not much. I hear some folks got killed down by Nelson. Or was it Novak? I don't know. If they come up this way, me and Dad will go someplace else. You do know these old roads were numbered, right? We're standing where the 95 and 93 meet. And 95 plus 93 equals 188. Bye. Those Legion elite troops are bad blood. Feeling thirsty? Let me see what I can do. You bet. Our rangers are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off.
Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. I'm sorry, but your balance does not meet the minimum balance. Please return when you have sufficient cash or passport. Submit to a credit check. Please submit to a credit check or present a passport. Please return when you have sufficient. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you, madam. You may proceed.
So let's see, what if I did this? What if I took a frag mine and put it like right here? How may I be of service, madam? Ah, yes. How's it hanging? This place is the bee's knees. Hey. What's up? Don't we slick with it? How's it hanging? I see what you're doing. You pay for that! Retribution! Like that?
Venom, do you want to purchase something? Sure. Let's take a look. I am ready to process our transaction. Buddy, spare a cap? I can make it worth your while. The first thing you should know is that Free their leader, who oddly enough calls him. That's two tips, but. Northwest of the big Freeside sign is. It's not as. What do you say? One another. Things have generally been bad here for... But lately, I got more where that came from. He might not look it, but Ralph for Mick... Hello. Don't think I've seen your face before. Are you a citizen of the NCR? You don't look like you're from around here, so I guess I can believe that. Just head to the northwest part of town by the old train station. We start handing out supplies at 6 every night. There'll be some guards by the door, but just remember that the password is HOPE, and they'll let you by right quick. What in the goddamn? <laughs> what? This operation has cost me plenty. I ain't about to get shaken down by some Janie come lately. Without my toe, I need my toe! Mr. House is looking for you, huh? What do you think he wants? Bowling partner? Hey, thank God you came around. That guy was gonna kill me. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? What, this? Uh, he stole this from me at gunpoint. Lucky for me, he got distracted and I got a chance to draw on him. It's a necklace that I made out of these special caps. You ever see any caps with a blue star on them like these? Pretty sure, yeah. It's really nice, isn't it? Have you ever seen caps with pretty blue stars on them like these? Oh, then you know how rare they are. I'm just glad they're back where they belong. You can never be too careful these days. Well, it was nice to meet you. I'm gonna take a few moments to get myself together, then head out.
Hello there, my friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the repair magazines in Fallout in Vegas that are in Good Springs. There's two of them that are in fixed locations. Okay, that's Doc Mitchell's house right up there on the hill, right? That flag. What does that flag say? It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, we're going to run it down the street here, and we're going to find this first house there. So basically, when you start the game, you leave Doc Mitchell's, turn right. And then the first house on the left, go in through the door. And right here, if you go to the bathroom, there's the bedroom, the bathroom's right here. Oh, it's an ensuite right there. Fixing things. Right in the broken sink. All right, so that's where the first one is. Now, the second one is in the Prospector Saloon, if I remember correctly. So the Prospector Saloon, we might go this way. We can cut a diagonal here. Yeah. But basically, you leave Doc Mitchell's house, and it's like you know, basically most people see the general store, and they go to talk to Chet first, and then next door is the Prospector Saloon. Hard to miss. There's a neon sign. And open 24 hours. The big swinging sign here. It's like, hello, let's go there. And there's Pete. And uh, he will give you explosives if your wet explosive skill is high enough. But there are no... Oh, wait. Here comes Sunny. Cheyenne, stay. All right. Yeah. Me All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, you got to get through that instance, instant dialogue. But if you go over here, let's see. Right here? Yep. There it is. So, in the same room that you meet the lovely Sunny Smiles, another fixing things. All right. And that should get your repair level up high enough that you can start fixing things. <laughs> using the repair. And if you don't know how to do repairs, uh, watch my video because I have one on how to fix things and repair your weapons and gear in Fallout New Vegas. All right, this video is made for a friend of mine who's playing the game and he's a newbie and uh, I hope this helps anyone out there who also decided they wanted to watch my video. If you want to watch more videos, please subscribe and uh, smash a like always helps me. So thanks. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys if you leave me a comment and if you don't swear at me. All right. Talk to you soon. Take care.